Yo, man, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, your host, Rest Guy Dragon Squad. Bit here with my first ever game flavor. Hold on, hold on, it'd be in the background going hard. That shit slapping low key, but hey, man, here are my first gameplay, bruh. Um, my um shit finally came in the mail after all this. After all these, I think it's been like a month or some change. I mean, trying to get a graphics card to fit to this damn computer. Shout out to my nigga Zeref though. My nigga Zeref already played the game. I watched like like a little bit of the first episode. It was kind of boring, so I just clicked off it. But niggas tell me this is a good game. But uh, shout out to the bro Zeref. He tried to help me out along the way. His channel is a uh, corrupt console. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to that. Um, but yeah, we finna get to this shit, bro. We finna get to this bitch though, man. Um. It's like a little Japanese dating simulator, from what I've heard. Um, I, don't, I don't know why it's so good. Maybe it has like like a good, compelling story. So we finna get into this jank. Um, finna have some more gameplays coming soon, bruh. Um, I finna start out with small games first, like computer games first. I finna do this. Then I'ma do. I got the little emulator for Fire Red, a Pokemon Fire Red, and then I'm gonna get into Telltale. Those gonna be like the first three games. I'm gonna play this one straight through first. Then I might do Telltale and Pokemon at the same time. I don't know. It depends. But we're gonna get into this jank, though, man. See what it's talking about, though. Um, let's go. Um, I'm gonna record like an hour of this. You doing good? Yeah, we, we, we doing good. I'm gonna record an hour of this, and then um, split this up into a couple episodes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just record. I'm gonna just record. I'm gonna just record gameplays on Saturdays. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get to the shit though. I see an annoying, <laughs> annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air. Like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might be drawn to herself. That girl is Sayori. Sa Sa Sayori. Sayori. Yeah, Say Sayori. Okay, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kinda of work but it just kinda of works out because of you known each other for so long. Oh okay, so we already acquainted. We already acquainted, alright. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would eventually oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's gonna chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha <laughs> ha! Hit ass now. Let me chill out. Let me chill out. Okay, okay, okay. She alright. I've, I've been seeing like a lot of memes of these niggas, bro. I I seen it with the fucking the, the JoJo big buff nigga meme. <laughs> that shit funny, bro. That should be hilarious though. Overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You said it like you were thinking about ignoring me. Um. That's mean, Rexel. Well, if people start, well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Damn, my nigga, uh, relax, bro. Fuck. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. Shit, I should've fucking ran up on your ass. Time stone! I should've ran up on your ass. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> oh ho ho. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna do that voice. I'm gonna do the freezer voice. Fuck that shit. What the fuck? Oh ho ho ho. <laughs> you filthy sand monkeys. Face that. Uh... We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Rexel, have you decided to join? Have you decided on the club to join yet? Damn, bro, I can't fucking read, and I want to be a fucking writer, bro. God damn, I haven't read a book in a minute, bro. A club? I told you already. I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking e either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you wanted to join a club this year. When the fuck did I tell you that? Did I? 
I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Damn, you're kind of a fucked up friend, God. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a, a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. What the fuck is a neat nigga? I know what a yeet is. I know what a, I know what a yeet is. You trust me, right? Bro, my nigga don't even sound like he fuck with you so you already so I don't even know, bro. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come to the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the class out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't have to wait for me as You don't have to wait for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. Well that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Yeah? Meanie. Sayori's vice president for the literature club. Not that I was ever worried that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure that she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one proposed to the club, she inherited a little, the title vice president. That's that said, my interest in literature guaranteed to be even less. That's crazy, cause I want to be a writer, but I'm not. Oh my god, I don't know, bro. I gotta get my shit together. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Fuck you, thought. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member, and Natsuki would make cupcakes and everything. <laughs> oh ho ho. Don't make promises you can't keep. Exactly, don't put words in my mouth. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's cunning and still playing all this out. Sayori, man, it seems like my nigga don't fuck with you, bro. Like, dead ass. It's not like he would rather join the Iwatobi swim club than come to your fucking club, bro. Like, everyone is a new member here. Oh, everyone, the new member is here, all right. I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah? I glanced around the room. <laughs> Welcome to the literature club. Hold on. Hey, whoa. hey, little mama. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck, fuck what you saying. Let me check out the player build real quick. Mm, okay, you thinking the way she got some big ass titties. The, the bitties she got. The bitties I'm a hit, bro. Fuck you talking about. Purple hair? Hold on. I gotta rub my hands like bird, man. It's the pleasure meeting you. Sayori is always saying nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? You look like a trap. Don't let me don't make me roast your ass. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Rexo, what a nice surprise. Shit, she got some titties on her too. Hers a little bit smaller. I don't know. Purple, purple hair girl seems closer to the screen than this one, so I don't know. What a nice surprise. Welcome to our club. All words escape me in the situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Rex, bro. Buddy. <laughs> buddy, buddy. Um, we don't know about the middle one. Shit, that might be a, um, what's that nigga name from Assassination Classroom? Shit, I forgot that nigga name. What are you looking at? Shit, not you. If you wanna say something, just say it. Why are you fucking for, girl? Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. Exactly. Wait, 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 wait. See, see, Rexo, that's my nigga, bro. We don't fuck with no lowly emotos, bro. We not chic in this shit, bro. Um, continue. The small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. He's also the one who made the cupcakes in Corner Sayori. Oh, damn, that's kind. Of, oh my, hold on, hold on. This is kind of tough. She. 
she looked like a lowly. But if she's a first year, then I guess it's okay because I'm in high school in this game. And she's a Sundere, but she's built like a lowly. Uh, I don't know. She, she might get a pass. I don't know. I don't know. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. Oh, you can't just ignore her when she gets moody. No, you can't. <laughs> Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Hey, chop kicking nigga high and jury. Hey, she can fucking other bitches, Yuri. Okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, her name is Yuri, okay. Don't don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears to be comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Okay, it's purple hair, shy girl, big titties? Tall? Hey! <laughs> Ah, well, it's nice to meet the both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? Monica. Hey, my nigga! My nigga! That's right. It's great to see you again, Rexel. Um, do I know you? Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Bet, bet, bet. Okay, so I'm already familiar with her and Sayori. But Sayori seems to be living in my neighborhood. Monica looks good in a Sayori, so I don't Okay. I, 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 think, I think I already have my tiers in mind. I already have my top four in mind. Natsuki, you at the bottom of the barrel. Um... Sayori, Yuri, then her so far. Just, just based on, off looks. Monaco is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, saving her smile. So, see, so having her smile at me so genuinely makes me feel a little. You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Rexel. We made a room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. I just transitioned into voices, bro. Sorry, I got a little bit too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Tea and cupcakes, they don't go together. Try again. As they already mentioned, I've been to blah, 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 whatever. And that's again, Yuri. Walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki probably marches to the table, tray in hand. Okay. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Ta da! Ooh! Sagoi, Sagoi! <laughs> sagoi, Sagoi! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. These aren't sperm cupcakes, are they? Because, um, not with that. The worst crystal drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. So kawaii. <laughs> I had no idea that you were looking so, that you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Like, I I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm fucking... I cannot fucking read for the life of me. Like, I have my fucking mic right in the middle in front of the screen. So, it's not like off to the side or some shit like that. Or right above my computer. Like, I got my computer right here. And then my mic right in front of it. And I'm trying to look over the damn pop filter while I'm trying to talk to the fucking mic. So, it's kind of hard, bro. Well, <laughs> you know, something like. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first one, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. I turn a cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. It's a fucking cupcake. You need an angle to take a bite? Just eat the bro, mine go weird, bro. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Hold on. She, she, she want me. She want me. She want me, my 
my nigga, she want me. It's all right. I know, I know I'm a little bit irresistible. You know, you feel me? Hunting on my wrist, any on my neck. You feel me? All right. I, I be, I'm the youngest flexor. Fuck you talking about? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. She got them shits from Farm Fresh, bro. Relax. This is really good. I'm, I'm, I'm bullshit. I'm lying my ass off. <laughs> Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thinking me? It's not like, oh, see, so, so she didn't make them. Okay. Fuck. I uh, haven't I heard this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you technically did. They so already said, well, maybe, but not for you, you dummy. Hold on, hold on. Rex. That face though, hold on, hold on. She, 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 she wants your boy. You, you, you already made it obvious. Do you not watch anime? All right, all right. I, I give up on Natsuki's word logic and dismiss the conversation. Yeah, she, she one of those. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I, I guess. Ho oh, ho ho! <laughs> don't let your, don't let yourself get imitated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically here by Sayori. Why not, bro? Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so. That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club feel fun and exciting for everyone. I'm sorry, but them titties is just, it's, they, them titties is just there. She, 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 she knows what she's doing. She, 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 she got the hair right over the titties. Just so happen to be over the titties. The rest of her hair is behind her, but she got them two strands right in front of the boobs. I see what's going on here. I see what you're doing. So, Rexo, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh, well, um, Dojins, um, number one, um, Percy Jackson, that was, that, that was a good series, um, Heroes of Olympus, um, I got some Pendragon books over there, um, High School of the Dead, um, Dojins, and porn comics, let me chill out, <laughs> let me chill out, I'm boosting, I'm boosting, considering how, Little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? <laughs> exactly. I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head certainly perks up. To like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. No, well, that could change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build on deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the books, in the world of books, not people. Okay, so so she can see the two. If only she had glasses. If she had glasses, she would be fucking perfect. She she would be perfect. I mean, she's kind of number one right now. Um, but 
she would be perfect. She would be perfect. I'm surprised not one of these four girls have the typical anime girl with glasses. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. <laughs> Let's immerse. Shout out to Real Easy. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yeah, this shit kind of boring, so, um, might be a lot of cuts, just, um, FYI. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, you might be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I got a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if the story makes me think, or makes me take to another world, then I can really, I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, and even if it's only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Okay, Natsuki seemed to want me the most right now. That's like the third, second time she didn't fucking look over at the boy. <laughs> at the kid! <laughs> she wants your boy! What? Uh, nanny? <laughs> nanny? <laughs> what gave you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem card. Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. Ho oh, ho ho! Your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. So you're already slight. Oh, I thought it said slide. <laughs> A-lit slide. <laughs> 30 or the 9. <laughs> Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Hold on. She looks like she's doing something else behind her. You, 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 you feel me? I, I'm not cute. You're right. You ugly as shit. Hold on. Like I said, you look like a trap. I don't know. Something about you we don't know about. Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, I'm not a very confident writer yet. Uh, oh, ah, not a very com confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing them even the deepest reaches of your heart. Okay, Yuri, Yuri is smart as fuck, okay. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your- I mean, this is a fucking literature club. I mean... You just don't read books. We will have to write about some pieces, right? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can sh set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in the silence for a moment. Okay! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh my! I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we will all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Oh yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> next, dirt! I might, I might, I might give say Yuri the Dexter voice. Hold on. Plus, now that we all have a new member, I think it would help us all to get a little more club. Us get all, help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen our bond at the club. Of the club, isn't that right, Rexel? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Look at all these girls. Look at all these girls. Hold on. Let me, t let, let, let me just take this shit in. This is my first gameplay, y'all. That's tough. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri. 
and of course Monica, my nigga. <laughs> Will I really be happy spreading, spending every day at the school with an allergic club? Bro, are you fucking, st look, look at these girls. Scrap Natsuki for a minute, look, Sayori. I'm, 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 look, I'm looking at these two girls right here, the ones that have the boobs. Those, those, those are my top two candidates. Right now, I'm not even gonna fucking hold you. I'm not even gonna snatch. Just off those alone. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Exactly, bro. Or all four of them, nigga. Orgy. Huh? Huh? <laughs> all right. I'll just need to make most of my most of my circumstances, and I'm sure a good fortune will come to me. And I guess with that starts for writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite literature club member will like. Something good that might happen with whoever likes your side of the poem the most. Hold on, let me let me get some water. Let me get some uh, water. I'm, let me get some water. Nigga thirsty in the bitch. Love scars. Give me scar too deep. I can't tell. Um. Cheeks, cause that, that's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get some cheeks. You feel me? Climax. Um. Alone. Anger. Disoriented. Universe. I'm just picking shit that I'm picking. That I that I would pick. I don't know. Kawaii. Death. Why did Sayori jump? Okay. Warm. Okay. Frightening. Anxiety. Wrath. Depression in a session. <laughs> Cage. Grief. Um. Bet. Agonizing. Pickle. Rain cloud. Okay, it, it, it seems like I got like more what's her face jumping. So when I pick those words, it corresponds to each one of the girls. Okay, I bet. I think that's what the fuck is sitting in the um, instructions, but I ain't read them shits. Hi again, Rexel. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Um, well, I'm back at the literature club. <sighs> I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Rexel. Mm, sorry, I got focused on the titties. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into a literature school where you're not accustomed to it. I'm trying to dive headfirst into something else. <laughs> I'm trying to dive in it. Oh, come on. It's he, like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Sayori, you fucking snitch. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here just to hang out or what. But if you take it seriously, if you don't take it seriously, then you won't, hear, you won't see the end of it. What are you talking about? Asuka, you certainly have a big mouth. Oh, hold on. For someone who keeps a, her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between seeing Monica and Manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Rexel always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with my busy work even with without me asking. Really? I thought my nigga don't fuck with you. Like cooking, cleaning my room? Hold on. 
How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so mass messy, it's, it's distracting. Okay, so yeah, we are friends. We hang out on a regular, but it still don't seem like you don't fuck with her. I don't know. Right now it does, but... You almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? Ho ho ho! You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Rachel can become good friends too. Uh, um... Say Sayori. Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the worst situation she just put me into. Hold on, she's trying to... So, she's trying to be my wingman? Oh, you're even bought you something today, you know? Wait, wait Sayori. Uh, eh? Me? Uh, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like such a big deal. When it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. This is a song she's trying to hook you up with me. You better, you better take that. Good man. Got four biddies in the classroom. Only one can get the dick. I mean, y'all can, but if you want a relationship, only one y'all can get that. Only one. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you, this is really just a pleasant surprise. Ooh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hit him with the smooth, hit him with the smooth. It'll make me happy no matter what. Uh, is, is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal of it if you don't want it to be. Yeah, I'm gonna start talking, talking sexy to these girls. Hold on, hold on. Hello, mama. Well, here, Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. You thought giving me a book would be a fucking... I can't help but wonder what, what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Damn! Ho oh, ho ho! Sorry. <laughs> Wait. I actually, I'm actually, I'm not sorry at all. What? It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Nigga, that Fortnite grind don't stop, say, are you? I thought, I thought I told you. I thought you knew. I thought you knew. I thought you knew. You need to get used to it. Don't say that out loud. I glanced over my shoulder to see Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Ho, ho, ho. It's what I do best. That's, that's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not, not every day. That's not really very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... That's the secret. I knew it. Come on. At least you gave me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh. I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Hold on, my nigga. Oh, okay. My nigga making plays. <laughs> a lit slide. A lit slide. <laughs> Man, you really need a, a brush for this. Damn, you you are you trying to make a move or are you roasting her, bro? Relax. My hair is just really hard to get right. <laughs> I won't fall for that. There's more than just there's more than just your hair. It looks like your bow isn't all straight either. And there's two places stand on your collar right there. God damn, tacky. Tacky. I try to wave off the stain on my finger. But no one would ever notice that, like I just did. Of course they would. No one's gonna tell you about it because they don't wanna hurt embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. <laughs> my nigga's savage, bruh. Hey, you meanie! And you don't even keep your blazer button up. Seriously, Sayori? Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? God damn, my nigga is going in. My nigga is baking your shit, Sayori. Do you have a comeback or nah? Eh? That's super mean. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. 
I'll start the button and blazer from t from the bottom. <sighs> Rex, 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 Rex. Actually, I was, I was gonna say you should be buttoned from the top, but hey, you make your way slowly up to the titties, and then you act, you actually act, really push them. Then you button your shit up. That's my nigga. That's my boy. But that's sexual harassment, so. Um, no. But not, we cool. Hold on. Damn, look at them eyes. I'm fucking with this scene right here. What scene is this? Oh, ho, ho. this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have the friend who does these kind of things. Then maybe we should be more the friends. Rex, you gotta pull up. That, that's what you gotta say. You gotta pull up, bro. You gotta pull up, bro. She she opened in the door. You gotta slide. Yes. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? Because she got some big ass titties, even though they're not big. So you gotta she got a small ass blazer or something. Does this thing even fit you properly? Oh ho ho. It did when I bought it. If you ever buttoned it, I would have I would have noticed it sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Damn, so you your shits ain't even that big, first of all. So that means you ain't had shit before. You had fucking dents. You ain't even had you ain't even, you were not flat chested at first. You had dents. Damn.